Collectomania is the end result of a, about a year and a half's work by colleagues here at the Queensland Museum. We were very interested in looking at what Queenslanders collect because we're a major collecting institution ourselves, So, but we wanted to find out what Queenslanders collected. I'm Leon Tattis and I collect washing machines and laundry memorabilia. I started collecting the pink pineapple memorabilia when I started writing Our Sweetest Icon in 2008-2009 and um, it wasn't really my intention to collect big pineapple items but inadvertently I did and, um, and you've got a lovely collection of really happy memories from people who visited this Queensland icon. My collection is a collection of Tolkien memorabilia including books and movie memorabilia and cards, posters, artwork, pewter, chess sets and it goes on and on. I collect advertising drink trays. I also collect vintage tour t-shirts. And my big collection is unintentionally bad album covers. I think it's all about identity. It's the, your sense of how you see yourself in, in, in your place in the world. That certainly came through very loud and clear. We've got people who collect for memories, their own personal memories, because of aesthetic reasons, what they appreciate, their own taste, that sort of thing. So, and also what interests you is, I mean, that's a, a, a done deal. I mean, everyone collects things that interest them. <laughs> if it's made, someone will collect it. As a collector, I love the idea of sort of rescuing found objects. Some of them, in my opinion, basically have no value. And the idea of rescuing something for an aesthetic or an artistic uh, aspect that you can see to it is very appealing. Over the last five years, I've probably bought about 350 odd and growing. We've got uh, fibro walls, fibro ceilings, but I'm very lucky that the cornices are timber. So every so often the husband's up in the shed and he hears tap, 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 and he knows then that there's another egg beater going up into the, into the corners. They're all through the house, uh, the toilet is still free, and our bedroom, there's just a couple in there at the moment. I counted the other day and I have 54 machines. I have 30 in my garage at the moment, which I've set up as like a proper, like a museum type of display. Uh, there are others I'm hiring out Unit 1's uh, garage as well, and there's a few others sitting at my parents' place, so I've got very forgiving parents. My long-term goal would be to actually have maybe some kind of museum come a retro laundromat, and maybe even incorporate a coffee shop with there. So, while you're actually doing a load of washing in a vintage washing machine, you could be having a cup of coffee. The egg beater collection, it does give me a lot of satisfaction and pleasure, and I really do enjoy showing it to other people and getting their enjoyment out of it as well and it, it makes it extra special for me. Collectomania is on here at the Queensland Museum until the end of December so we've got a fair amount of time left for people to come and see it and I'd really encourage them to, apart from anything else, it's free. So my advice to any other person, whether you're thinking of collecting or not, if you get at least three, start cataloguing because it will explode. They're like rabbits, they'll just explode. Don't miss